Hey YouTube, today I use my cold steel trench hawk to cut wood. I'm uploading a video right now as we speak as I'm filming this. One of the things I did not like about this trench hawk is if you look at the handle, the top of the handle where it meets the blade, it got chewed up a little bit from me because as the head split through the axe, the handle right here hit the wood after it split to this depth. It helped to split the wood, but it also ruined the handle somewhat. So, um, it seems to me that this was not made for splitting logs. However, chopping logs, it worked really well. You can see on this side too, it's kind of chewed up. See, compared to this side, which is not chewed up. So again, it's, I want to repeat myself and say that it wasn't good for splitting logs, but it was good for chopping logs. This blade, I sharpened it up, and I used a Spyderco sharp maker, and it was set for a 40 degree angle, so the tip of the blade was, I don't know, it was 40 degree, but it was not super sharp, but it was good for an axe. And as you can see, I sharpened these, and this spike, spiked right through wood couple inches deep. I have no doubt in my mind that if someone broke into my house or if there was a dog getting attack, attacking somebody in my front yard, that this would penetrate any measure of skull. Rib, it would go right through the ribs, right through a sternum. Just the way it is now. I have to resharpen it though because I was stabbing up a lot of wood with it. You can see the axe head has got a lot of scratches but they're not really scratches as much as they are um just smudges from smudging from cutting through the wood i'm looking forward to chopping more of this chopping with this more the the blade itself is smooth with absolutely no nicks so the steel is really great it's just that this handle is not formatted for cutting splitting log Perhaps if it was filed at a degree, an angle, it would actually be beneficial.